Hello friend, how is it going? Welcome back to Toyota Maintenance YouTube channel. Today we have a new customer and he is subscriber of this channel. So let me present to you his 2009 Toyota Tacoma four-wheel drive with incredible 318,000 miles on the odometer. He came all the way from the Oregon to our area. I think he was visiting someone or he is visiting. And he want me to do the very detailed thorough inspection. And also he has one complaint. He said at the low speeds, roughly 25, 30 miles per hour, there will be under the slow acceleration not the fast powerful acceleration but a slow acceleration there will be shudder there will be shake in the vehicle he doesn't know what is causing that and he would like get some answers about that situation he has interesting story about it he claims it started years ago when the dealer serviced his truck he drove away and immediately within five ten miles these two bolts which you can see are not original the washers and these bolts are not original they actually fell off this was all dinging around here hanging banging and since then that shudder under that low acceleration was developing. He thinks maybe it's a U-joints. Maybe it's a U-joints, they are loose. He gave it to different, he gave it to the different shop services. Nobody gave him answer what is causing it. When we test drove vehicle together today, I said, let's go. We were actually, I, I felt it once. It's not like it's just in his head, I felt it once. And I will say, I can see the rubbing. This got scraped when that happened. And now it has a surface rust. Now the question is what is damaged? But the support bearing itself, supposed to have some play when it's brand new even. But let me show you the play in this one. I keep inspecting these all the time, obviously. So watch with me how much place on this one. We can look from different direction. I call this excessive. He thinks it's fine, but that's why he came here to hear my opinion about it. Look at it. I hope you can see it. I will say this is actually over the acceptable amount and this one should be replaced. Obviously that will not stop me from looking at every single U-joint on every side of the drive shaft and so on. So that all has to be inspected too. That's absolutely clear. After I lifted the vehicle and continued in mine inspection, I always start with these front wheel bearings. And the other one on the other side is good, but this one, this wheel has a play and you will help me to see where the play is coming from. Okay. Do you hear that knock? This one has a play, definitely, I hope you heard it. And you can be doing diagnostic with me too. You can be right there, first hand looking at it. I think it's that upper ball joint. It doesn't feel like a wheel bearing. Of course, the wheel is in my way, I cannot see it. That's the problem, so look at it with me. Is it really happening up there? Am I correct about it? 
In the cases like this, you better don't rush your diagnosis. It could be the ball joint, but if there was a play with this upper control arm bushing, it will be transferring here and feeling that it's coming from the upper control arm ball joint. So you always have to make sure that you give the customer correct info and you really try it. This is beginning to play small, but I'm holding this ball joint right here and I can feel it. The plates that metal on metal when that ball joint gets worn and loose in that cap. So I know it's not from here, it's not coming from the that bushing, that's fine. And my problem or his problem, it's right here. And before I will let you go, I can show you another thing. If you look at the brake pads, this is a typical example, it's on both sides. The outer brake pad is way thicker than the inner one. The outer one, I will say, it's five to six millimeters and the inner one, it's three to four. So there's a bunch of stuff I need to write for him. You have to inspect everything, all of us be thorough. The customer's paying for it. He has also, he's aware of it. If you look at the CV axle inner boots, both sides are very slightly, you can see it on the bottom there. Do you see the tiny crack where the steel clamp is holding it? They did, gave up right there. They are starting very slowly, he knows that. They are starting shooting that grease around here. I hope you can see it at least a little bit right there. So that grease, it's showing up. It's actually on both sides. Let me show you. I can kneel on my knee. Yep. Do you see that side? That's the same situation right there where the clamp is. It cut, cut the rubber finally. The outer are really good, no problem. But the inner ones are in very beginning starting shooting the grease, which is inside of that CV joint. Aren't these wheels super beautiful? I'm not sure where he got them, but man, it makes this truck looking kick ass. I will say so. Another thing which I was going to do for him, obviously, you know from different videos, I like to take a samples of the fluids and present it to the owner. But I couldn't open this front differential, that drain plug, the bolt, it's a hex stand, it's completely chewed up, stripped. Fortunately he knew about that. He said, oh, when I was servicing it, they told me something like that. So this is damaged too much. I have a picture for him. I took the snap-on, what I have, it's a hex stand, you can see the part right here, the tool, so I very carefully tapped it in with a hammer in that opening, but when I tried to undo that bolt carefully, it will not move, obviously in this moment you don't want to be playing with this anymore, you need to first get from the dealer the plug plus the crush washer under, then remove it, drain it and put a new part there. So we don't know what the oil in the front diff is. We know that the transmission fluid no good. Look how dark it is. It's definitely not good. So I will be writing to him that. Here you can see absolutely clear, very small amount of the rear diff that was from the filler. It was just very slowly dripping. So rear diff somebody serviced. And this is the transfer case. You see the oil is darker. It's not catastrophic. I don't see any black residue in it. So that's for the future. 
obviously this is also priority your seal transmission should have a good oil inside so as you can see it's always a lot of stuff to check and inspect on such a older vehicle and I would love to keep filming every single detail for you show you every little thing but it's impossible he's waiting for me to finally send him the list so we can look on the priorities I just started on that front so I have to go with the fluids and so on for him so I apologize but there's no time I have to get moving but I'm glad I was able to show you on this taco which has 318,000 miles. Thank you for watching and have a great day my friend.